Tesla is now giving you the option of buying enhanced autopilot. So now you have th kind of three options. You've got autopilot, which comes down with your car. You can pay extra to get enhanced autopilot, or you can pay more and get the full self-driving package. But things have changed. Here's the difference between the three of them, and here's my opinion on what you should get. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the channel. Viking, great to see you. Welcome to the channel. All the new subscribers and new viewers, etc. Great to have you. Now, make sure if you're new, you subscribe and you check out some of the 800 plus videos we've made over the last 12 months, which will give you a better understanding of what's really going on in the electric car industry and in the battery technology industry as well. A lot of things are changing. Really solid state technology, it's nice, but it's not likely to be the technology of the future. Now that, my friends, is something very different, much cheaper, and much more widely available right now. Tesla has relaunched its $6,000 enhanced autopilot. It's, well, Electric has said they've gutted full self-driving package, but they haven't gutted it at all. It's just another kind of clickbaity type title they're trying to mislead you with. And I first read their article on their website and I was confused. I thought, they've gutted it? How have they gutted it? And I, I didn't figure out till the end of it that it's just one of those click clickbait titles. It's kind of confusing. They haven't actually gutted it at all. And in fact, full self-driving is exactly what it was before. Doesn't work in some countries, does work in others. When I say doesn't work, I mean, it's not fully available in some countries. Apparently, it's going to be launched here in Australia by the end of the year in right-hand drive markets as well. So that would include places like UK, Japan, South Africa, etc., etc., etc. Anyhow, what's the difference between these three options? It's very important because the media is constantly confusing people. Most people, honestly, have no idea that there is a significant... There's two different things Tesla has, autopilot, standard, and full self-driving. Most people have... They think they're the same thing. They're not. But anyway, now it's a bit more confusing for people because now there's three things. There's standard autopilot, there's enhanced autopilot for 6,000 US dollars. Don't know the cost yet in your market, but I'm sure it'll come soon. And then there's full self-driving for 12,000 US dollars. Now, as far as we know, most people are not purchasing full self-driving, which is fair enough because it's taken a lot longer than Elon and Tesla planned, which, I mean, it was much harder than everyone realized at the time. So understandably, more people are not paying for that $12,000 option because they don't know when they're going to actually get full self-driving. However, the point is here, right? It's like gambling, essentially. If full self-driving came out in a year's time and you had that option, well, obviously you would have saved a lot of money because there's no way known Tesla will be up to, will be charging $12,000 when this option has been approved by regulators, right? So when full self-driving becomes the real thing, which it's just a matter of time. When that time is, I don't know. It could be a year. It could be five years. We don't really know. But when it does, it's going to cost a lot more than $12,000. So you're gambling. If you buy that option, you can't. You don't get full self-driving now. It, it's, a, it's a nice self-driving feature that helps you with driving, but you can't just leave it and go to sleep. But one day, you'll be able to. When that happens, well, obviously, you could use your car as a taxi and make a lot of money with it. So then it would be well, a gamble that paid off if it happens soon. But if it happens a long way into the future, or if it doesn't happen, then obviously the gamble doesn't really pay off for you, does it? Now, to make a clear point here, make a distinction, autopilot is considered by most reviewers, and I'm not talking websites like Electric or uh, you know all these other electric vehicle platforms which just talk about electric cars. I'm talking about actual real um, sites that go out and drive the cars routinely. And they test them against other models. I'm talking about car wow or car expert or drive or auto car in the uk or motor trend these kinds of sites right routinely they say that most of them say that tesla's standard feature of autopilot is the best in the industry into when it comes to the features that it offers compared to the competition especially since it costs nothing it's standard it, there's no in fact there's no other vehicle you can buy that's anywhere near that price range which comes standard with those kinds of features that just doesn't exist now i don't blame people if they're confused because over the years tesla has changed its autopilot options self-driving pricing as well and a fair few times and it's not that easy to follow because it's different for different markets as well 
depending on what is actually regulated within your market. So here's the blurb from Tesla's site explaining to you what our autopilot actually is. It's an advanced driver assistance system that enhances safety and convenience behind the wheel. Now I know for a fact that some people have driven from Melbourne to Sydney, that's about 800 kilometers on the highway, not touching their steering wheel. They do it through various means. Or they did it when they didn't have, in the past when you didn't have to actually have your hands on the wheel. And it apparently works fine for driving on a freeway for that distance. And many people have done it. Many people in fact buy Teslas for the reason that they do that long trip routinely. When used properly, Autopilot reduces your overall workload as a driver. Each new Tesla vehicle is equipped with eight external cameras and powerful vision processing to provide an additional layer of safety. All vehicles built for the North American market now use our camera-based Tesla vision to deliver Autopilot features rather than radar. That's going to be the same globally within the next few months. Autopilot comes standard on every new Tesla for owners who took delivery of their cars without Autopilot. There are multiple packages available for purchase depending on when your car was built. Autopilot, enhanced Autopilot, and full self-driving capability. Autopilot includes the following functionality and features. Traffic aware cruise control. It matches the speed of your car to that of the surrounding traffic. Auto steer. Auto steer assists in steering within a clearly marked lane and it uses traffic aware cruise control. Enhanced autopilot. Enhanced autopilot is in addition to the functionality I just mentioned, you get navigate on autopilot. You can actively, the car will actively guide itself from a highways on ramp to off ramp, including suggesting lane changes, navigating interchanges, automatically engaging the turn signal and taking the correct exit. Auto lane change. This assists in moving to an adjacent lane on the highway when auto steer is engaged. Auto park helps automatically parallel or perpendicular park your car within a with a single touch. Summon, move your car in and out of a tight space using the mobile app or key. So if you're out of your car, you can get the car to drive over to you. Maybe if you're at a car park and you don't want to drive it over to yourself because it's difficult, you can actually press the button and it will drive over to you. Smart Summon, your car will navigate more complex environments and parking spaces maneuvering around objects as necessary to come find you in a parking lot. Full self-driving adds to this. In addition to the aforementioned features, you get traffic and stop sign control. That's in beta testing right now, so it's not, it's not available in all countries. This will identify stop signs and traffic lights and automatically slow your car to a stop on approach using your active supervision. Upcoming auto steer on city streets. Now, Tesla says the currently enabled autopilot, enhanced autopilot, which you pay the $6,000 for US, and full self-driving, the $12,000, require active driver supervision and do not make the vehicle autonomous. Full autonomy will be dependent on achieving reliability far in excess of human drivers as demonstrated by billions of miles of experience as well as regulatory approval, which may take longer in some jurisdictions and countries. As Tesla's autopilot, enhanced autopilot and full self-driving capabilities evolve, your car will be continuously upgraded through over-the-air software updates. That's true. There's regular updates constantly updating these features. Now, I should point out that currently full self-driving does work pretty well. Some people are able to drive it for an hour or two and go through complex areas and through even city streets without actually touching without having to do anything. They're able to just sit there and just pay attention. You do have to pay attention. You can't go to sleep. But it's working very well right now. Is it fully self-driving? No, it's nowhere near that yet. But it's on the way. Uh, doing this right now will help to improve Tesla's margins. Obviously, a lot more people will buy enhanced autopilot for $6,000 US dollars, seeing as includes most of the features currently on full self-driving. And considering the tough year that Tesla's had in China so far, I'm sure they're looking at improving margins. I think it's a smart move. And I think a lot of people will take this option up. It also means the full self-driving package is a harder sell because you have to pay $6,000 and you only get traffic light and stop zone control, as well as the upcoming auto steer on city streets in addition to what's already in the enhanced autopilot. So it's $6,000 dollars just for that one, really the one current feature right now, or the two current features, traffic and stop sign control, means that, uh, you know, I, I don't think many people are gonna opt for that option right now. But I'm assuming Tesla thinks, right, a lot of people will, get in, will opt for enhanced autopilot for only 6,000 US dollars, thereby increasing Tesla's average 
sale price per vehicle. What else is going on here? Well, some people might say the reason Tesla is doing this is because full self-driving is taking a long time, maybe not working the way Tesla thought it would, or it's a long way away, and they think they need a more compelling and cheaper option representing the feature additions that you get on day one to improve revenue growth. So, you know, it's like a more of a financial reason for Tesla doing this. Now, the other option could be that full self-driving is about to have a much wider release. Maybe the price will go up because it's going to be uh, massively improved. And therefore, maybe Tesla thinks that they're on the verge of actually cracking full self-driving. And if that were the case, then it would be definitely worth paying the $12,000 US for full self-driving. Now, whichever of those options you think doesn't really matter. The point of this video is to let you know three options will be available in most markets worldwide by the end of this year. That is the standard autopilot, the enhanced autopilot for $6,000 US dollars, and full self-driving, beta for $12,000 US dollars. Now, it's worth pointing out that a lot of people speak very highly about Tesla's autopilot, which comes standard on the car. So in your case, that's probably more than likely all you're going to need. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.